Hello folks, this is Kiki, part, doing part 4C. Uh, between the surfeits we go, we have to go low and slow. Remember these riddles? These are from a couple le levels ago. And wow, look at that. Yeah, if I would have just ran right through it, I would have got nuked. <laughs> Pretty much, uh, Everything about this level is pretty, uh, well, it tells you what to do, so. Now you notice these little glyphs against the wall there. That's for our next part. But every, between each section we have to kill like two or three tan, so. So we'll just take our time and take them out. Anyway, this is, uh, Final, uh, Final Front's version of Tomb Raider. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Looks like a good premise, actually. At least we have less annoying platforms to go on. So, 100, 100. Wow. Like they're building up to something with 100 right there instead of 50s. Anyway, this is apparent that we can't go to it. It says, Writings on a wall will show you the way. If you follow their lead, you'll win the day. Well, as you can see here, each uh, pillar here has its has an emblem. And there's four different emblems to it. So let's go look at the wall here. Okay, it says uh, elbow, onk, scarab, eyeball, eyeball, scarab, arm, scarab. Okay. So everybody got that in mind? Now I'm not. Now once you get to near the end of it. I might use a save state in case I mess up and forget it. I don't want to run all the way back here, but I'll but I will try not to cheat here. I mean, it's pretty short pattern, nothing too bad. Anyway, everybody got a good idea what's going on? I'm just sticking here to try to remember remember it. Okay, let's see if we can try here. Okay, scarab. Arm, scarab. But we'll just make sure here. It says arm, onk, scarab. Okay, well, let's look at this again. Scarab, arm, onk. Yep, okay. And then scarab, once we get there. So evidently it also applies to the sides of it as well. Anyway. So eyeballs next. Then it was followed by another eyeball. Then it was a scarab. Now on the wall it says there was an arm. Squish. No, not that arm. So, it says arm next at that point. So, hmm. Guess we'll just have to see here. Looks like they lied to us. So, scarab, then onk, I guess. Since we got squished by the arm, we're going to have to go with the uh, onk over here. Even though the arm said that that was the answer, it was actually this onk here. And then it was an arm. And there we go. And there's the puzzle again for you. So let's go to the next section. 
Uh oh, no cover this time. Luckily, we got some. We have a submachine gun, so let's go ahead and take him out. Okay, looks like the next part here. Check around for. See if the wall's closed. Yep, wall's closed. Okay, let's go. Now it looks like we have some glyphs on the floor. Their mouths should be closed so you can get by. Look at the floor where the symbols lie. And I'm going to go ahead and look at it again in case that was too quick for you. Now this one's a kind of a silly logic quest, silly logic riddle. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Okay. Now let's go ahead and look around. Look at the nice lava effect that they got. Nice cheesy lava effect. <laughs> okay. Now as you notice, each obelisk here has its own symbol. Onk arm, scarab, eyeball, and as you notice on the floor here, there's all sorts of onks and eyeballs and scarabs and stuff. So we step on one, and one lights up. And we'll step on another one, another one lights up. And we'll step on another one, another one lights up. And that one lights the last one up. Now you notice here that all of a sudden that there that there's something glowing in their eye in their mouths. Oops. See their mouths were open. That's a context clue that lets you know that their mouths are open. Pretty simple riddle in it. So let's do this again. Pretty much those who've played Wild Arms or or any type of those type of games already know this sort of pattern skill set. Step triggers, all you have to do is if you're wanting to light something, step on it or step back. And depending upon which trigger you set could affect what's on the future. So pretty much, let's take a step forward, take a step back, and we'll cancel all, all the eyeballs. Make sure to aim this right. Oh, trigger them both. That's fine. Okay, and they're all cleared, and we're safe. See? Not too bad of a puzzle, isn't it? It looks like we got some more tan this time. Let's take our time here. And why are they giving us even more? Uh, there isn't that much of a call for that much... Uh, submachine gun ammo. Anyway, we'll go ahead and look around for some more goodies. See, what I was expecting is, see, like, there's 174 is what I got, so I was expecting, like, stuff to come out of the esophaguses here, but unfortunately it didn't. So I wonder why the 174 ammo here makes no sense. Look around for some goodies here. Looks like there's no goodies. So we'll go ahead and move on. You gotta look at that weird symbol there if you want. Well, that's pretty obvious. Pow Pretty much here, we just take our time, pick up our shots, and take them out. This isn't too hard at all. This is why I gripe so much about auto aim and manual aim, is because of situations like this. Uh, it makes the game a lot more user friendly to uh, have a way to aim the gun. 
rather than just you have to pat the gun 50 million times or whatnot. Actually, this time you can kind of get a figure on where to, where to aim at. Come on, pop your head up again. There we go. Looks like it's clear. Nope, we got one more to go. We got one more guy to, guy to kill. I thought it was clear. Eh. There he is. Do a double roll, wait for him to. There you go. And he's popped up, and he's down. I don't see anything else here, so let's go ahead and explore around a bit. Anything at all? Anything at all? Looks like whatever they had planned for this level is totally unfinished or something, because I'm ending the level with 151 submachine gun ammo. That, that's a little ridiculous. There should have been more here to, to relate to that. That's a little silly. Same thing with the cathedral level, uh, but oh well. Yes, Kiki, signing out uh, for part 4C. Thank you.